Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will discuss about what are traits in Scala and how do we use traits in Scala. But first of all, we need to understand some basic things about Scala. And the first thing is Scala doesn't allow multiple inheritance from more than one class. Now for this demonstration, I will be using the example which I have shown you in the last few videos where I have shown you uh, this polygon class which is a super class and there are two classes which are inheriting from uh, this super class which are rectangle class and a triangle class and the rectangle and triangle class were our subclasses which are inheriting the public properties from uh, the polygon class so let's go to our uh, polygon class first of all and let's say this is our abstract class and we will create one more abstract class and we will say this class name will be shape because rectangle is a shape and triangle is also a shape that means both these rectangle and the triangle class can inherit from the shape class also so let's try to do this so i'm going to go to the rectangle class which already extends from the polygon class and if you want to do a multiple inheritance in Scala you can just say with and then give the another class name which is shape here now as soon as you do this Scala will complain and it says shape needs to be a trait to be mixed in okay so it turns out that Scala doesn't allow multiple inheritance from more than one class so you cannot inherit from two classes at the same time now in order to understand traits we also need to understand the concept of interfaces which is used in java and a number of other languages and what's our interface an interface describes a set of methods and properties that an implementing class must have right so other languages like Python and C++ doesn't need interfaces because they have the concept of multiple inheritance. But multiple inheritance is subject to a diamond problem, which is a well-known problem when you use multiple inheritance. So to avoid the complexity and bugs that flows from multiple inheritance, the designer of Java decided not to use multiple inheritance and instead they decided to use the interfaces. So what are traits? Traits in Scala are partially implemented interfaces. So let's see how we can define a trait and then we will see more properties about traits. So to define a trait, you can use a keyword trait instead of this class. So you can just write uh, trait here, which is a keyword. And there are certain properties which are related to traits. So traits may contain abstract and non-abstract method. It's possible that traits can contain all the method which are abstract, but it's not possible to use the method which are all non-abstract method in trade so at least one method in trade should be an abstract method so we have defined this trait called shape now and now we will try to uh, inherit in our rectangle class from this class shape and you can see this error is gone which was previously shown to us due to the problem with the multiple inheritance so it's not possible to inherit from multiple classes in Scala, but it's possible to inherit from one class. It can be a abstract class, it can be a normal class, and it's possible to inherit from multiple traits. So as you can see here, we are extending from our abstract class, which is polygon, and we are inheriting from a trait called shape. If you have multiple traits, you can inherit like this. So you can use keyword width, and then you can use shape and then once again width and then you can use another trait and then once again use width and then you can use another trait here so now in my uh, trait shape i can have a method let's say this method is a color method and this returns a string value so i'm going to just write string here 
and then I can inherit this shape class in my rectangle as well as in the, the triangle. And when I compile this, it will give me an error because I haven't implemented the color method right inside the rectangle subclass and the triangle subclass. So I need to override the method color because it's an abstract method, right? So I'm going to just write color, which is going to return the string value and what it returns. Let's say the rectangle returns the color red. And in the same way, we will override this color method inside the triangle class also. And we will say that triangle color is green. Now we can call this color method from uh, these two instances we have, which we have created in the last videos. So I'm going to use this rectangle instance in order to call the color method. So I'm going to just write In the same way, I can use this color method using the triangle instance also. And let me run the code. And now it prints, first of all, the area of rectangle and the color of rectangle and the area of triangle and the color of triangle. Now it turns out that you can avoid using override keyword whenever you are overriding the method from a trait. So you can remove this override keyword from color and also from uh, triangle color method also you can remove this keyword override and i'm going to run the program and it still prints this uh, area and the color of rectangle and triangle so you can use the override keyword and it will not give you any problems or you can avoid override keyword when you are inheriting from a trait so in this way you can use traits in scala i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now